All right, toy collectors, thanks for joining me for another 209 Ed's workshop. Today, we're gonna build something on the channel that's actually pretty critical to most Joes, soldiers. You know, what, what specific thing uh, that is actually missing from literally almost every, you know, military toy line, be it G.I. Joe, uh, Fortnite, Action Force, Marvel Legends sometimes, and, you know, uh, G.I. Joe, Classified, or Fortnite even. So I think I already mentioned those. But anyways, you get the point. Uh, it's missing from a bunch of these, right? Uh, on occasion, I'll see it done, and I'll see it done purposefully. Uh, and sometimes it works well, sometimes it works not so well <laughs> so anyways but the majority of time what what uh what i see us doing is making our own so i'm going to share with you some of the examples that i've used or some of the things i've used uh to make to make this particular piece of equipment that is vital to you as a soldier or to you know to, I, I never had a weapon without one or a rifle without one so without further ado let's get into it what what, what could i possibly be talking about slings a weapon sling so there are various types of weapon slings right or rifle slings you could either have the one that you know just kind of goes over the shoulders you're going to put it on the back which is the one that i used i use that one all the time uh you know or you could have this one the kind that just hangs in front of you there's pros and cons to both of these i just use that one because i could throw it on my back and, and you know move out uh, and I mean, this is good too. I mean, this is, you know, your Delta operator, you want it right in the front. Only problem with this one is that it's literally get bouncing around in the front of you. Every time you run, bounce, ba bounce, bounce, ba bounce. <laughs> it's bouncing everywhere because it's only got that single point of contact. But if you have this one, it's holding it from the top of the bottom. It's a little more stability with that sling. Uh, but the con is, you know, it's usually on your back or you could put it on your front, but it, you know, it's weird. But anyways, uh, so you've got these two. So what do I use to make those? So for this particular version, which I really like, I like this version uh, quite a lot. Um, this, this particular sling uh, that I made for her is actually made out of leather. Uh, I, bought, I bought a leather strap. Here, let me show you the type of leather that I bought. It's this, it's a thin strap leather. Uh, you can find this at most hobby shops and all the only way the 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 easiest way to put that together i literally put that together with some super glue super glue works way great with leather uh with this particular leather it, it bonded immediately and it worked great so uh i really like the way this worked out um so anyways uh that's that's one way to do it the other one is um a ribbon right the only problem with ribbon is this it wants to do its own thing. It's all, it's, you know what, I'm just gonna hang right there. So I'm always having to kind of force it into position or, you know, it doesn't look bad or anything. Uh, you could definitely put it on his back, but it's just always, you know, trying to do its own thing. So, you know, that's the only problem with, with that one. Now, you also, we'll get to him in a minute. The other one that I like to, to do it with is, and this one is actually, uh, this one is actually only good for this particular point and it has to have a way to connect there and that's rubber bands. It's, it's literally the cheapest one. You literally just put a rubber band there at the bottom and work it around his neck and boom, he's got himself a weapon sling and just get you a rubber band like this regular black rubber band. Let me see how, how big these are. Uh, I think they measure them by diameter, uh, by the inside. And I think this one's about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters. So, yeah, I would say like an inch and a half, maybe inch and three quarters, depending on your, yeah, they're really cheap guys. You can get them on Amazon by the bulk. Uh, anyways, you could put that around his neck right there. Bada bing, bada boom. You got yourself a sling. So that's that one. You know what? I really like this figure. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know or not, but this figure is so versatile and fits so great into a bunch of stuff. Just a fantastic, this Fortnite figure right here, Metal Mouth, just a really great figure. Anyways, moving on. Uh, the other thing that I like to do is, are these. Now, there's a, a seller. I mean, they're, actually, you can get these anywhere online on eBay. They're purposefully made to resemble a weapon sling. Now, these are pricey. I think they're like two and a half, 
uh, you get a pack of like six or eight and they're two and a half to three dollars each. So if you're okay uh, with spending that for this little bit of, you know, customizing kit, then cool. I only bought a, pa a pack just to see how they do. And they're really good. I mean, I have to say they're, they're really, they're, they work out really well. You can adjust it here and adjust it there. And the ribbon, it's made out of ribbon as well. And it, it's actually, but, but the fact that you have this weight here kind of controls where it goes as opposed to that one, just wanting to go everywhere. So anyways, there's that one. And then finally, the final one that we have here is the purposeful one, right? The one that's purposefully built like this one comes with the weapon that the figure comes with. Uh, and gosh, still haven't gotten that freaking this, these guns and Hasbro. Anyways, talking about the sling, this is a hard sling and it was built with the weapon. As you guys know, uh, works actually pretty well with the figure. The problem is, um, you know, it doesn't move at all. It's always going to be a certain way. And that's, that's it. I mean, it works well most of the time, so not bad but uh, I wish it was more malleable, right? It's still still a, a darn good figure. I like, the, I like what they did uh, with that particular sling. Again, like I said, it's purposeful built, but it's rare that you get a sling like that for a rifle. Um, I mean, maybe they just like saving on expenses. I don't know what it is, but uh, anyways, it's rare that you get one with a sling. Most of the times they just give it to you uh, like this. It's your weapon. Now, why is it important for a soldier? Because sometimes you, you, you don't need to have the weapon in your hand 24 seven. I mean, sometimes you gotta put it down to either work a problem, you know, carry something, throw a, throw a dog on grenade. You know, yes, your weapon should always be within, you know, a hand, you know, where you can grasp it. If, you know, if you're doing something right, but it, you know, you're not gonna be, you gotta eat at some point too, so. <laughs> So you're gonna have to set it down and, uh, and and do what you need to do. So anyways, um, here's the other thing that uh, maybe we, oh, here's the ribbon that I use. I don't know if, if I showed it to you guys, but uh, I use this ribbon here. I got this on Amazon as well. Simple ribbon, you know, uh, one eighth inch, hundred yards. You can make thousands of, you know, freaking, you know, gun sl weapon slings with that. And I already showed you the rubber band. Now here's an extra bit of accoutrement that you can do. Um, I found these, and these are just, you know, uh, heavy duty staples. And we're gonna do something special this time. We're gonna try one more type of sling. And this type of sling, the pieces for it are literally everywhere uh, currently in our society after COVID. And I got this, uh, you know, I don't, I would give the guy credit if I remember him. I don't remember where it was. I didn't come up with it originally. This guy was just like, this dude is a genius. The ends of the masks, the COVID masks, you can use, and they're stretchy, which is a plus. You can use these as weapon slings. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a really cool weapon sling for this figure that belongs to a figure I'm gonna do a review on today. Yeah, I know, she's the figure I'm gonna do a review on today. It's a little old. Uh, but I just got a figure. I just got her, uh, or I just got a second version of her or a double of her that I can do a review on so far. I really like that figure, but anyways, spoiler alert. Um, we're going to make, we're going to make it for her. I, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to go over to my workshop and we're going to start working on this. It's going to be cool. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys. So here we are. Let me clean up, uh, some of this disaster that I had for my previous, ah, oh, man, that hurt from my previous, um, uh, you know, painting and stuff that I did with the, um, the night trooper. Boy, that was actually a pretty fun project. I dug that. But anyways, let's, uh, let's clean up in here and let's get started with some of this. I'll leave that out. That's what I'm going to paint later. I don't need this. Anyways. So here we have what we're going to put together. Uh, we have the weapon. Uh, we have the, uh, the, requisite material that we need we're gonna need some of this so we've got that we've got this and we've got that so um and so let's do a little bit of a time lapse because you guys don't want to see me struggling with this and some of the curse words that are going to come out of my mouth so 
let's just get going that way and I'll stop in between to show you the progress. So what do you guys think? Did it come out okay? There you go. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, actually. I mean, I'm going to try it out and see if it kind of grows on me. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it going. The interesting thing is that I might have actually liked it better without the little metal clippings here. So anyways, I'll get the figure later tonight. We'll put it on her. And uh, when we do a review... We'll see how it looks like. All right. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'll, you know, for a wrap up, we'll uh, we'll do a quick video on what it looks like on her. All right, guys. So here we finally are uh, with, um, as you know, the must, much hullabalooed and talked about Warpath Eclipse figure. Uh, this is my second one, and I'm actually going to do a video on her um, uh, t today. I'm just gonna do a review of her today. I got Buzzer in today as well. So, um, here, let me fix this, there we go. Uh, so I'll be doing a, a review of Buzzer tomorrow. So, but today I'm gonna release two videos, this one and uh, a, a review of her because this is my second uh, figure of her and I've always wanted to do a review of her. So anyways, uh, here you go, just a real quick close up of how it turned out actually it's grown on me i think it's not bad it turned out pretty good you know um here let's pop it out of her uh, actually let's here let's take her little sickle off of there oh she's got a ton of hands so um talk about the fall of the roman empire and the byzantine uh era influence while i step away for a moment and we're back um yeah, you know what? If this is something that I love about uh, a, 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 um, uh, Valiverse or Action Force. You usually can't get this type of uh, setup with or, or this uh, type of sighting with most uh, action figures. It's it's really tough to get unless they have the trigger hand that goes uh, kind of like the dice roll, and then a couple of cuts here and a double joint here to get her to hold that. Because <clears throat> despite what well, looks cool you're not going to be really firing from your hip down here at the the further away from your sight line that you fire though you know as, as we most of us know the worse it's going to be right you're not going to have a tight grouping of your bullets you're going to have stuff you know five feet across from each other the further apart you go so you know you want to shoot close you know to your sight line uh and you want to get that you know pulled right into your shoulder there and as close as you can line it up there as possible this is this is a pretty good you know i probably have my face a little closer to that the back here so i could take a look at what i'm shooting at but this is pretty close to a regular stance right so um i really appreciate that so that's what she looks like there and you know what let's just do this um live let's see if we can uh switch it over to her i love all the hands you know you got a cupping hand here just for this particular pose that action force puts in Look, I'm not saying that Action Force is perfect. Far from it. Uh, but, gosh, dog, they make some of the coolest, you know, posable and options out there. I mean, not the coolest, but, uh, you know, it's really well done. That's what I got to say. I love G.I. Joe's just as much as, you know, actually, no. I love G.I. Joe's more. Dog on it, uh, Action Force is right up on there. I mean, they're, they're, Bobby Val is doing some good work. Um, not giving up my Joes, but I'm not giving up my Valiverse either. So uh, I don't have to be either one. I can be both. And that's who I am. <laughs> don't let nobody yuck your yum, guys. Do your thing. So anyways, yeah. And then she can, well, it's a little loose. I probably should have made it tighter. No, that's not bad. You can kind of fiddle with it get get it up there so boom there you go she can even hold it like that if she needs to so there you go 
now she's got her sling she can just hold it like that so anyways that's what you got those are all the alternatives that's what it's going to look like actually there's probably way more stuff you can use to make slings but that's just what i use so all right guys thank you so much again as always supremely grateful for all of the followers uh not all of the follow all of the subscribers all of the interactions all of the comments um a quick house cleaning we've still got the contest for the xcom or xcom we still got the contest for the x-men 97 um uh a video that in that video if you solve the riddle there is a free desert commando snake eyes that i'll send to you um you can send you can send me your answer to the email located in the about section of this channel you'll have to log on to it from a desktop because otherwise you can't see it from a phone now, i don't know why youtube does it that way but that's how it is uh the other thing is in the news uh in the last news videos that i did uh is a giveaway and there's no riddle there uh it's just a straight giveaway in the comments section details are or official rules and details are in that video just type in 500 down there at the bottom in the comment section and on sunday when we do the news again i'll draw a name i'll announce your, the winner and we'll go from there um, i believe the the winner for that one is a grunt so if anybody wants an extra grunt trooper uh that's how you do it so anyways guys again thank you for watching thank you for supporting uh the channel and as always as long as you guys keep watching i'll keep rolling it out